Hi, and welcome to 4 Africa's tutorial on how to build a speedometer or gauge chart in Tableau. I happen to be using the sample Superstore data made publicly available by Tableau, but you'll soon see that this can be done with any data set as I'm mainly working with parameters. It's important to remember that this graph is built on a range of 0 to 100%, and the two measures that will be driving this chart are the percentage that was actually achieved and the target percentage that we're looking to achieve. As mentioned, I'll be basing both of mine on parameter values, but obviously in a typical scenario, the actual percentage achieved will be driven by a field from the data itself and not a parameter. The logic I use for the calculations, as well as a detailed explanation of how and why this chart works, can be found in the blog post linked to in the description below. So to start off, we create two axes with a sum of zero, change them to a dual axis, and switch to entire view. Then, we select the first axis and change it to a pie chart. Drag measure values onto angle, and measure names onto color. Then for some visibility on how each slice works, right-click to copy and drag measure values onto label as well. Remove any unwanted calculations from the list, keeping only the 13 calculations I mentioned in the related blog post. Make sure to reorder them according to their numeric sequence. Just to be safe, Change the aggregation of the seventh calculation from sum to min, just so you always get a value of one. Increase the size of the chart and jump to the second axis. Ensure it is set to a circle chart and increase the size as well, but don't make it as big as the first one. Then set the color of the second axis to match your background color so it appears invisible. Switch back to the first axis and pay attention to the groupings of colors I use here. The order of colors is important, so assign your own colors to the same groupings of fields as I've assigned them to in this video. Notice that I've also set the seventh field to be the same color as my background. Now return to the second axis and drag the fields representing actual percentages and target percentages onto label. Format the text according to your preference, but be sure to add about six empty lines beneath the text to push it up towards the top half of the circle. You may need to press space for on the last line just to ensure Tableau doesn't ignore the blank lines you've added. Set the default alignment to horizontal and vertical center. Finally, right-click and hide the axis headers and format the worksheet to remove any unwanted lines. Remember to double-check the rows tab even if you've removed all lines from the sheet tab because sometimes there's that one sneaky grid line that will persevere. That said, removing these lines is completely optional. And there you have it. You can play around with the parameters and hover over the slices to see how the different pieces work together. When you're done, simply remove the labels from the first axis and you're ready to go.